Well, it's a cold night in Seattle, but at the very least, the roof will be shut to shield us from some of that. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Boston Red Sox and the Seattle Mariners. Mariners baseball comes your way next. Felix Hernandez, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Well, here he is, King Felix, also known as the King. Big arm, five pitch mix, mid to upper 90s fastball, slider, curve, changeup, and split. Some people think he throws too many pitches. Well, I know one thing, this guy's been a good pitcher for a long time, and he is one of the few aces in the game of baseball. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Second of four here on a Friday night as the game's first pitch is taken for strike one. And fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They come in off to a bit of a slow start with just one win in their first three tries. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short-term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the right direction today. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Rolled slowly to first. Scooped up on the backhand. A flip to Hernandez is in time to record the out. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, d -Row? Yeah, you take a look at this lineup they're running out today. And they got their work cut out for them with the sinker baller on the mound on the opposition side. They're going to have to see the ball up. They're going to have to work the home plate umpire. Can't be given four to six inches off the inside half, or he's going to have a field day pounding that sinker in there. Should be interesting to see right out of the chute if he's got the good one or not. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Right through it here. And he's behind 0 and 1. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there. And even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. Tries to go the other way as this is hit in the air down the right field line. <laughs> Stepping into the box, Eduardo Nunez, the head to head history with King Felix. He's three for nine. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Hey, D Row, you better be up there ready to swing with Ricky Holiday behind the plate, particularly on that high pitch. Yeah, and no, I, I don't like that, Dan. As an offensive player, that's the one pitch that you almost can't get to with a power guy on the mound. I'm okay with you giving a little bit on the corners, but you start giving north, it makes it super tough on the hitters. Hit on the ground down the first baseline to second for one. Relay on to Healy for the double play, and that retires the side. So a sharp opening inning for King Felix. So now the Mariners offense gets to work for the first time. We've got no score. David Price, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Thanks, Matty. David Price, former AL Cy Young Award winner, big fastball 95 to 97, curveball and a slider. One of the things he does well, commands the strike zone, throws a lot of strikes. Standing in, D. Gordon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. <laughs> Now the first pitch here from Price. Good fastball down around the knees there taken for a strike. 
Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They were the spoilers here on opening day as they took game one of the season on the road. Yeah, Maddie, not easy to start opening day on the road and grab a W in the opponent's ballpark, but that's what happened. And they come into game two with a chance to set the tone in this series. Behind 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. And now a quick look at the Mariners' starting lineup in this one. What's the key for them tonight, Dero? Maddie, the key in this one for this lineup is they got to stay staunch in the middle of the plate. They can't start swinging at everything, or this guy will abuse them. He'll start flipping up the rosin bag. They have to sit over those 17 inches and hold to that. So the bases are empty with one man gone and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Malik Smith. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. Too high, and it's 3 and 0. Edwin Encarnacion will be next. Now the 3 and 0 offering is in there for strike one. This is where if you're the batter one pitch one spot and you get the barrel of the bat to that baseball as quick as possible with damage on your mind. One out nobody on. Line drive to center field and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Well, fastball count there yielded fastball mark. Yeah, you drive to the ballpark praying to get in one three one count a night and buy yourself that guaranteed fastball, and he didn't miss it. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And a dive, but he's back in. Edwin Encarnacion now. A pitch out. The throw. And just great defensive baseball there as they will nail him at second on the pitch out. Well, they guessed right on the first pitch pitch out. Sometimes you have to wait a pitch or two in the at bat to try that, but they must have had a pretty good idea he was going to be on the move. Two out, nobody on. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 and 0. Hey. Two balls and a strike. Lifetime versus David Price. He's totaled 13 base hits and 52 tries. He's also taken him deep four times. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. Bogarts has it. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. Mariners go down quietly there. Still no score. J.D. Martinez. He'll get us started in the top of the second.
Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Sinker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Man, you find yourself down 0 2 after two great executed pitches right there. Got to look for something up. Might have to tip your hat if he can stay down below the knees like that. On the ground to the right side. Healy scoops it up, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and the leadoff man set down to start the second. All right, guys, here's Seattle's defensive alignment. And, guys, we'd be remiss if we didn't focus on the gold glover at second base, D. Gordon. He can beat you in so many ways on the base pass, but let's not kid ourselves. Athleticism allows him to make some pretty special plays on the defensive side of the ball. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. First pitch on its way. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Well, there's a shot of King's Court, the cheering section devoted, of course, to today's Mariner starter, Felix Hernandez. Fans have a great time down there in the left field corner, and it's really become a staple here in Seattle. Yeah, it sure has, Matt. And what I love most is when these fans start chanting, K, 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 with two strikes on the batter. It's awesome. They love King Felix here, and I don't blame them. Yeah, he's really meant a lot to this organization and this fan base over the years, so it's great to see them support him in such a cool way. No score here as we play inning number two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Bogarts will head for second. And this is going to get to the wall now out near the Mariner bullpen. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the death like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. The head-to-head -head history with King Felix. He comes in hitting right at a 300 clip. He's taken him deep once. Here comes the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Now the 0 1. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forges ahead, nothing in two. Hey, two pitches at the knees right now, and you're down 0 2. This is where you got to fight. I want to see a two strike approach. Maybe a little choke up. Maybe a little fight up the middle the other way. Grind back into this count. Here's Hernandez now on 0 and 2. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's 1 and 2. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. The one two line drive to left Santana is going to get there as he backs up to put it away and there are two gone now. Here's Steve Pierce now. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch first pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide it's ball one
One ball, no strikes. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it, you're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot of guys rely on their opponents offering at that pitch, even when it's not in a good location to hit. The set and the 2 0. This is grounded foul. Two and one, here it is. To two and two now. These are the moments right here. You got a good pitcher on the mound. You don't know if these opportunities are going to present themselves throughout the course of the game. You have to capitalize in this situation. The two two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. And Hernandez won't get him to chase this one. It's a full count now, three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Hit down the line at first. And Healy will take this one himself to retire the side. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. At the plate, Domingo Santana. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. First delivery to him on the way. Good way to start it on the outside corner for strike one. Takes this the other way to right. There to look it in his bets and that's out number one. All right let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And let's focus on the guy behind the dish tonight, Christian Vasquez. Lock in on this guy. Some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime. The bat's coming, but the way he massages this pitching staff is should be your focus. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the corner outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. First pitch of the at-bat. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0-2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. Skied into very shallow right. Betts has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in next, the first baseman slash DH Ryan Healy. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Fastball well outside. Three and one now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Wow there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and boy he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. 
Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Mariners are down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Stepping up now, Jackie Bradley Jr. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Jackie Bradley Jr. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Lifted in the air to center field. On the run is Smith. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So digging in now Christian Vasquez the head to head history with King Felix two hits in seven tries and now pitch on the way and this one's not close it's in the dirt for ball one third inning no score to this point and a sinker dips too low there into the dirt in fact. This at bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. In the dirt, it's 3 and 0 now. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Now the 3 and 0 offering. And he ball takes four. ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. And that hole at that, I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. At the plate, Andrew Benintendi. Second appearance here. He grounded out to start the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Oh, 1. 0 1. Here's the pitch. Lays off the sinker here. A ball and a strike. Vasquez leads off first with one away. No contact there, and it's one and two. Yeah, Matt, you see the same pitch three times in a row, and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times, or do I have to sit on something else? A line shot to third base. But the runner is back to avoid the double play. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. First pitch coming, here it is. And he takes ball one. A runner on first with two away. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Betts, who's often just referred to as plain old Mookie. He was a fifth-round pick back in 2011. I know a lot of people weren't sure what this guy was going to become, but he has blossomed into one of the superstars in the game. What an absolute steal coming out of the middle rounds. Two and one now to Mookie. Two and two. Two ball, two strike. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. 
full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Hernandez comes set. Here comes the three and two. Got him. One left for the Red Sox. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Lifetime versus David Price. He's got five base hits in 23 at bats. He also has one home run. First offering on its way. In there at the letters 0 and 1. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Price ready with the 0 1. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Count 0 and 2. Down the first baseline. And a step on first himself to the out. One gone now in the Mariners' third inning. Up next, a former first rounder, Tim Beckham. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Smoke on the ground left side and in the left field for a one out hit. Striding in Omar Narvaez as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Set here it comes. A ball and no strikes. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Now the 1 0 is taken, strike one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two the count. Here now the two two. And he pops him up. Drifting toward the left side of the infield. Nunez camps under it and he's got it for route number two. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Here's D. Gordon now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's Price now on 1 and 0. Lifted down the line in left. And no one will track it down. Here it comes on one and one. Inside corner called a strike one and two. Beckham is off of first with two away. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Mariners leave one. We'll head to the fourth still scoreless. 
Digging in now, Eduardo Nunez. He'll be the first to greet Felix Hernandez to start the inning. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The windup and the 0 1. And he popped him up back into foul territory behind first. Keeley is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Now the Red Sox DH J.D. Martinez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah Matty and it looked like a sinker in his last A.B. that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2 and 0. Had a rip at the 2 0 sinker but came up empty at strike one. The 2 1. Hard hit toward the hole. Beckham is right there. Throw to first to be in time, and Hernandez looking good here with two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Santana retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. So striding in, Malik Smith. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. Grounded to short. Gloved by Bogarts. Throw just does get him at first as he was really moving that time. So the base is empty here with one away. And that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. Now the first pitch here from Price. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. And 0 and 2 count to Edwin Encarnacion. I always felt 0 2, you had to cover away. If a guy's going to bury you in three times in a row, you tip your cap and walk back to the dugout because that's not easy to do. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Swing and a miss on the change up, and there are two gone. Wow, that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit, right? That good straight changeup, El Cambio. There's not much you can do with that. You're going off of that arm speed, and the ball, it just doesn't get there. Standing in now, Domingo Santana. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. A ball and a strike. Grounded to first. Fielded by Pierce. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. 1 2 3 go the Mariners. Through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. 
Well, Matt, I talked with manager Alex Cora during the break about his thoughts on the Red Sox hitters to this point. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs, but he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Whoa, Ball right one. Down. A little roller toward the hole. Played on the backhand. A flip to Hernandez is in time to record the out. Digging in for his second at bat, Steve Pierce. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. Love that pitch right there, and he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner. A lot of hitters have a tendency to open up way too early, and they can't make good contact on that pitch. And a sinker too far in here. He lost him on ball four. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. He's ready. Here's the first offering. First pitch is a sinker too low, 1-0. There we go. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. The 1 2 is laid off is for ball two. Pierce, base runner at first with one out. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Goes after the sinker there as this is fouled away. And Hernandez won't get him to chase this one. It's a full count now, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. into the corner and slicing foul. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the 10th pitch of this at bat. Towards second. 
Barehanded by Gordon. The second for one. It's late. He's safe. So coming to the plate, Christian Vasquez. He drew a walk his first time up. First delivery to him on the way. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Runner! Runner's going. Pitch misses low. The throw down is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt, Matty. The ball isn't carrying well tonight, and we haven't seen any home run, so sometimes you have to try for something else. Now with seeing a single could be all it takes to push a run across. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. This is a big bat right here. No doubt you'd rather go after the nine hole hitter with a runner on third instead of giving the top of the order a chance to cash in. A rare 3 0 curveball drops in three and one. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here with the base open. He doesn't have to. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Out of the stretch, the three two home, and there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. The tag's there, and he's out trying to steal third. Great throw. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and he said they just aren't putting enough competitive at-bats together right now. He told me he can't recall many times where they've been able to get to a full count today, and while that's not always a necessity for success, they've clearly had their struggles today, especially when it comes to making things difficult on the opposing pitching. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Digging in to try it again. Mitch Hanniger. He'll be the one to lead it off against David Price here in the inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. That evens it up one and one. The one one from Price. And it's one and two. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. One ball and two strikes to count. Bases are empty, one man out. He 
hit well on the ground to point. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. I don't know what side of the fence I fall on, boys. Old school, new school. I think I kind of stand right along that fence. But one thing that gets me jacked up is watching guys grind down in the count and drive base hits the other way. So a runner on first with one out now. And into bat next, the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Stretch. Here's the pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And that's in there for his strike one and one. And he fouls this one off. Runner at first here, one man out. This one's in the dirt. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close. And I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. The 2-2. Two -two. And it's fouled away. Here's another 2 2. Hit out towards second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. This is their time right here. This starting pitcher has been on point all day. Runs have been at a premium. They have an opportunity to do something special right here. In now, Tim Beckham as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Right there, and it's quickly 0 and 2 now. Runners are at the corners with one man out. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. This has pretty much been a pitcher's duel so far, so any way you can score a run in a sack fly right there brings home the first run of the game here in the middle innings. Into the box, Omar Narvaez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Hit back up the middle. Underhanded flip on to second for the force out, and the side is retired. M's pick up a run on two hits. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Mariners are on top, one to nothing. set to go Andrew Benintendi and at this point of the game I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked well when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game you know you're doing something right Matt you're spot on whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully first pitch coming here it is 
And he takes a cold strike 0 and 1. And a sinker dips too low there into the dirt in fact. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Beckham gloves it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Here's Mookie Betts. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch on its way. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Now with the 2-0 count and the power at the plate, it could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. Not very aggressive there as that's down the middle for strike one. That is a pro pitch right there. 2 old curveball for a strike. You make those kind of pitches, you'll be around for a long time. Hit hard down the left field line. But this will be foul. One out, nobody on. Hit the other way out toward right field. Waiting on it is Henniger, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth, and that'll bring up the utility man, Eduardo Nunez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Sinkers in there, no balls in the strike. Two out, nobody on. And he takes strike two. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone. And when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, he looks like he stepped in a big old bucket assassin. Here's Hernandez now on 0 and 2. And he got him. Red Sox go down 1 2 3. They're down 1 0. So back to the top of the Seattle lineup, digging in D. Gordon. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Runs up and gets this one down. Pierce scoops it up. Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Malik Smith the next to hit. Here's the first pitch to him. Sacrifice attempt here. He took a risk with the decision to throw to second instead of taking the sure out at first. Not sure if someone was yelling for him to go to second, but we know now it was the wrong call. Into the box, Edwin Encarnacion. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 1 0. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. And that's going to get the job done. It's a base hit. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. 
Hey, Devo, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles and a run driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing them softly, station to station with those knocks. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound. And he's going to come get his starter here. So that'll be all this evening for David Price. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Tyler Thornburg takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Stepping in now, Domingo Santana, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Smith over at second, Encarnacion on at first with nobody out. Steals, steals. Now both runners are breaking. He swings and misses. Throw down. And they will get the lead runner at third. A daring attempt with no outs on the scoreboard, and it doesn't pan out. That's Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking One ball. ball. Two strikes. The one two popped him up. Nunez is there. Makes the play and there are two gone now. So striding forward now Mitch Henniger who struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah Matty big time K last time up and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. One and oh the count. Set and the 1 0 pitch inside, and he falls behind the hitter now 2 0. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left hander and a right hander begin to throw. Two out here and a runner at second. Oh, that's Too high that time, and it's three and one. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. And that retires the side. Mariners forced to settle for one. We're through six full. The Mariners lead it two to nothing. Welcome back to T-Mobile Park here in Seattle. The Mariners out in front of this one as we move to the seventh. But before it gets underway, let's give you a look at the game summary to this point. Here's J.D. Martinez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. First offering on its way. Hit sharply on the ground. On the first and a big out to start the seventh. One gone. Stepping in, Xander Bogarts. He's one for two in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Lays off one and oh. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up.
Hernandez still working on his shutout here through six and a third innings. Swing and a liner. Foul. One and two to the Boston shortstop. He hey, has an offense. You do your homework. You scout. He hasn't been using that pitch an awful lot. I say you just throw that out. If he's going to flip that occasionally for a strike, then so be it. The one two. Misses ball two. Well that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it but the execution was nice. Oh and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Red Sox are on the board. It's now two to one. You know, as a pitcher, there's nothing worse than getting taken deep. But it's something every pitcher has to deal with. Even the best pitchers give up home runs. You just have to refocus and go after the next hitter. Into the box now, Dustin Pedroia. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Outside two and one. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. Still just one run on the ledger for Hernandez to this point. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. Here now the two two. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. Thankfully he's able to recover and he gets the second out at first. Well this is certainly something you never want to see. Perhaps the silver lining here if there is one is that that got him in the non throwing arm. So if he had to work his way through this he probably could. Assuming of course that there's nothing broken in there. And I think he is indeed planning to give it another go. Ready once again Steve Pierce 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Here's a fly ball well hit. Henniger ranging back at the track. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot that time for Steve Pierce. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Red Sox have come back to knock things up at two. And some guys just have a knack for the dramatic. He comes up in a big spot and just cranks one out of here to even the score. Not a bad time to hit your first homer of the year, huh? Now here comes the Mariner skipper out to the mound. And his arrival is going to mark the end of the evening now for Felix Hernandez. So he departs in a tie ball game here tonight. You can already hang a no decision on him for this one. So they'll go to the bullpen now and it'll be the left hander here to face the upcoming left handed batter. Here's Jackie Bradley now as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. No hits to this point.
0 1 here's the pitch they haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground and not too shabby out of the pen takes just two pitches to get the ground ball and that ends the inning so they get a couple of runs on two hits no errors and no one left aboard get up and stretch now here in the great northwest and we are tied 2-2. Digging in, Ryan Healy, one for two on his line so far in the game. First pitch coming, here it is. We'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. And he sends it the other way toward right center. Betts giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. One away, and here's the left-handed hitting third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Here comes the first pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Yeah, Matty, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. Softly hit ball here, foul off to the left side, and it's strike two now. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Now at the plate, Tim Beckham earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. First pitch of the at bat. And he pours this one in at the letters 0 and 1 bases are empty here with two men out and here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball one and one That's two and one after two breaking pitches a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it so if you're looking for it go ahead and turn that baby loose. Now the 2 1 pitch is in there for the second strike. Two out nobody on. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Mariners are down in order. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Dan Altavia will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Settling in now, Christian Vasquez. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. First offering on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And down in the Mariner bullpen, it looks like a right hander is up to throw. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. The three one. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now.
So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up next, the exciting left-handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. From the stretch. In there, no balls and a strike. Altavilla offers up perhaps one of the nastiest sliders around, and it won't be uncommon to see a lot of off-balance swings against it, and it'll be easy to see why once you see it come out of his hand. He's got a huge break on it. 0-1, oh here it comes. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Waiting on it is Hanniger. One down. First now with one away and up next one of the terrific talents in the game Mookie Betts. Here's the first pitch to him. No nope. fastball here is he'll nope. take a look at ball one one and oh. And a slider stays outside and he falls behind 2 0. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. The 2 0 on the way. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. So stepping in, Eduardo Nunez. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. He's set and the pitch. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Vasquez at second. Betts is over at first with one away. A good tailing fastball for a strike, one and one. The 1 1 home. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. The 1 2 is looked at for ball number 2. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Here now the 2 2. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball 3. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Smith is there. Two gone. Cleanup hitter J.D. Martinez in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. 
You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the brake, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. And he lays off for ball one. Squared that one up just a little late. You could tell he was guessing right there, and he certainly wasn't guessing change up. That pitch was in his wheelhouse, and he was late. One two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. Two men are on with two men out. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. And we are tied 2-2. Brian Johnson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Into the box now, Omar Narvaez, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Not close with that one, it's way above the strike zone. Now the 1-0. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. The one-two. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. The next one two pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. And a left-handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. The three-two pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Benintendi, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. Now in the box, D. Gordon. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and zero. Bases are empty. One man out. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's two and zero now. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Gordon ahead, three balls and a strike. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turn to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. The three and one pitch. Down the first baseline. Pierce is there. And a step on first himself for the out. Digging in now for the Mariners, Malik Smith. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Line drive to left. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. Ninth inning coming up, and we are tied 2 2. 
Sam Tuivalala will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Digging in and looking for more, Xander Bogarts. He'll step in trying to do something about this 2 2 tie. First offering on its way. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Two balls and no strikes for Bogarts. He may be down 2 and 0 oh after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. Hitters count. Here's the 2 0 -oh pitch. And that one's wide to the mark. Ball three. Pitch on the way. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. And he lays oh, off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Next up for the Red Sox, Dustin Pedroia. Go ahead run at first, nobody out. Here's the first pitch, and he pops up the bunt attempt. Throw's going to go on to first, so a perfect sacrifice there is now the go-ahead run moves into scoring position here. So a big spot here and stepping in, Steve Pierce. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. And in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Santana will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So a runner at second, two down now, and in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's the first pitch. First pitch curveball runs in a bit too tight. It's ball one. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1-2 and two hole. Now the 1-2 and two pitch. Swing and a soft liner. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So they pick up no run on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. A tie game headed to the last of the ninth, and the Mariners look to celebrate in the Emerald City. Brandon Workman enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Coming to the plate now, Edwin Encarnacion. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Starts him out with the knuckle curve and he swings through it for strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. 
Hey, that's a really good pitch right there, and that's one of those off-balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad. So hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there. The one-two. Misses for the second ball. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a 2-2 count right here. Interested to see what he goes to. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. Great spot on that 2-2 fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. In now, Domingo Santana. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Well, I had him reaching a thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And they'll try to one bounce ball, a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. And that pitch misses to even the count to the Seattle left fielder at 2 and 2. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full 3 and 2. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit the other way out toward right field. Betts has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Next for Seattle, Mitch Hanniger. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. A ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Softly hit here to the left side. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Mariners. Score remains two to two. Now at the play, Christian Vasquez. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fouled off. Fouled away. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Andrew Benintendi. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Curveball taken for a strike on the inside. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort.
even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. Yeah, right there, it's tough to be able to dive out over the plate. I know it's a pitch people think you can get to, but after you're pounded in twice, that ball looks like a foot outside. The one two. Just hung in there on that one. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. Again, a one two. And a swing and a miss. So a perfect start to the tenth here. Two up and two down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Digging in, Mookie Betts. Two hits in four attempts to this point. First pitch on its way yes. up and in for ball one. Uh, he goes with the slider that time and it's driven to deep right field and he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning down in order go the Red Sox and this game is still tied at two and two. Now to the plate, Ryan Healy steps in to get the home side started here in the 10th. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball laid off well below the knees. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. And he popped him up. And no one will track it down. And the winning run will reach. It's a leadoff walk to start the home half here in extra inning. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked it back until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Ready now, Kyle Seeger. His career numbers against this pitcher, batting 500, four for eight. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. The 0 1. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. And a wasted pitch there, one and two. Ready with another two strike offering. Hopped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. Nunez is over and he puts it away for the first down. Riding in once again, Tim Beckham. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Here's the first pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Possible winning run on first, one man away.
And this is high, a ball and a strike. The one and one pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Now the one and two pitch. A bouncer to the left side. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Ryan Brazier is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Riding into the box, Omar Narvaez. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. In the air out toward right field. On the move is Betts. He's got it as the winning run is stranded to end the inning. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. And we'll have to cancel those dinner reservations, partner. 11th inning coming up. And we are tied 2-2. Corey Guerin takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Ready for another chance? Eduardo Nunez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch coming, here it is. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Hard ground ball to third. Seeger has it. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. So here's the cleanup hitter, J.D. Martinez, struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1 and 0. One out, nobody on. Swing and a liner. Foul. A ball and two strikes now. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. The one two. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Bases are empty one man out. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Wow we've seen some really impressive pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense and they've been fantastic all game long. Striding in for Boston, Xander Bogarts. He's two for three and looking for more here. He 
Here's the first pitch to him. Popped him up. Navarez has a play. And the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two, two. Now at the plate, D. Gordon. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses. Strike two. And the pitch. On the ground for the shortstop, Bogarts. Reined in on to first. And how important is it to keep this guy off base in a tie ball game? One away. Now batting, Malik Smith. First pitch of the at bat. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a line drive. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. A nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap. Standing in now, Edwin Encarnacion, as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Possible winning run on first, one man away. No contact there from Encarnacion as the count runs to 0 and 2 on him. Before the pitch, a check on that winning run at first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts in the first two games. So this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Stepping in now, Domingo Santana. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Fouled off. Set and the 1 1. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag, anyways. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. A 2 2 pitch. Full count now, 3 and 2. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. 
And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. Nope. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. The 1 0. Oh. In for a strike, it's 1 and 1. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Pedroia has it. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Mariners leave a couple. Score remains two to two. In now, Dustin Pedroia. He'll lead things off now as we play inning number 12. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. And here's one that ball misses one, to the leadoff one. man in the inning. The number six hitter in the lineup. It's ball one. Sinker misses outside and he's behind 3 0. Steve Pierce is on deck. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Swing and a miss as he went after the slider there, and that'll run the count full. Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 to punch him out. One away. It looked like this at bat had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3-0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not always easy to do. Into the box, Steve Pierce. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. He's working on a one for three thus far. That's a Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes. A one two pitch. Hit high and deep to left field. Santana racing back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. 
Digging in once again, Jackie Bradley Jr. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. On the Healy at first, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. And this game is still tied at 2-2. Two and two. Carson Smith will be summoned here to start the home 12th, and the best-case scenario for him is to take us to the 13th. Stepping into the box, Ryan Healy. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Called strike at the letters, 0 and 1. The 0 1 on its way. Ball 1. One and one. Two balls and a strike to the Mariners' first baseman. The 2 1 pitch. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. And it's 3 and 1 now. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1. And now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Now the payoff pitch home to third Nunez moving to his right and there's one away ready for another shot now Kyle Seeger his last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory yeah Matt he's got to make an adjustment right here his swing definitely broke down dropped his back shoulder and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul and a sinker misses here. No, a called strike. I take that back. Yeah, you take a look at that two-seamer right there. Sinker had nasty downward plane on that ball. That thing must have gone down at least six inches. One and one the count now. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. Now the 2 1 lifted the other way down the left field line and this will wind up a foul ball. Changes up on him but that's in the dirt for the ball. Hey I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2 2 pitch right but that one was so low I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. This is line to left and this is down for extra bases. And there's your winning run moving into scoring position. And he had two on his mind, and that's what he'll get as he's hit at second base with a one-out double. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. Into the box now, Tim Beckham, as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw to first takes care of Beckham for the second out of the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Omar Narvaez. A two-out hit and win it. Fast ball and wild pitch would do the trick just as well. Here's the first pitch. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pound in the strike zone.
comes set the 0 1. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul so a missed opportunity there. Here's the 0 2. Now this is up and in and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Now the one and two pitch. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Bogarts is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Time to put the coffee pot on. 13th inning coming up, and we are tied 2-2. Hunter Strickland takes the hill now to begin the lucky 13th inning. Stepping in, Christian Vasquez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's set. Here it comes. A high fastball is in there. Vasquez is considered one of the best defensive catchers in the game today. He often gets praise for his work behind the plate, and I know a lot of pitchers have made it clear that his presence back there adds a level of comfort that not many others can replicate. And Matty, I don't know if he's always going to be a favorite for the Gold Glove, but you walk around this clubhouse, you hear these pitchers rave about throwing to this guy. That's all I need to hear. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Henniger moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate, Andrew Benintendi, who looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First offering on its way. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. and two the count to Benintendi great spot with that pitch down and away he'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot bases are empty one man out not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two and now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. The three two pitch. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great AB. Down 0 2, and you work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook, and that can really frustrate you. Now with the plate, Mookie Betts. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Here's the first pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Fouled away. Now the 2 1. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. 
And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Standing in, Eduardo Nunez. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. In on the hands of it with the fastball, it's 1 0. Two and O to Eduardo Nunez. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. This is skied into short left center. Santana on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And into bat next. One of the best run producers in the land. J.D. Martinez. Here's the first pitch. High and deep to right center. Smith in pursuit. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Boston strands a couple. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. So the lineup flips over and digging in D Gordon he was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah I understand that Matty but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground that's part of what makes him successful. Now a bunt attempt here. Oh and one count and the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. The one two line drive to left. But coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Standing in now, Malik Smith. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. Working on a good line in this ball game. Three for five thus far. Ball. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. Hold strike on the change, 2 and 1. Love the pitch call there, 2 0. -oh. You know, the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a change up in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. The 2 1 home is laid off of for ball number three. Mariner center fielder now with a full count three balls and two strikes. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Striding forward now is the DH, Edwin Encarnacion. Before the pitch, a check on that winning run at first. Runner back safely.
Here's the first pitch and a pitch out. Nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Possible winning run on first, one man away. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. Here's a look over to first, and he'll get back in safely. Strike two as the hanging slider was let go. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. Now the one and two pitch. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Here's the 2 2 pitch. There goes Smith, and he fouls this one off. Possible winning run on first, one man away. Now a move over to first, and he'll dive back in. Ready with another two strike offering. Pitch inside the throw. Well behind the play, that's an easy stolen base. Well, they threw over there multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe that bag, so they were onto him, but he just waited it out and took off when he had the chance. Nice job of base running there. Now the three and two pitch. This is line to left. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And he'll get there at third. And now the winning run's only 90 feet away with just one out. Dan, right here you see a situation where the no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you. As a pitcher, are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, Dilo. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even notice where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. Stepping in now, Domingo Santana in the dirt and blocked behind the plate. And that's going to do it as they walk off as winners here in the 13th. And a disastrous time to uncork a wild pitch as the go-ahead run scores from third. Well, you know, once a man's standing at third, there's a million ways to get him home. But to lose a game like that, ugh, painful to say the least. But in the other dugout, they'll take it any way they can get it. In a close game like this, you look for that one guy who produced when it mattered most, and this is the guy. He's our tops player of the game. And he was locked in at the plate up there. You could really see it in his approach and the swings he put on the ball. Finished with three base hits, and he certainly was a big factor in their victory. to two the finish in tonight's game Hunter Strickland claims the win out of the pen his first so that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney this is Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more find us on Twitter at MLB the show